Fire TV here, and in today's video, if you cannot tell by the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be telling you guys five little facts that, not facts, helpful tips or whatever that I came up with that is essential for helping you grow your YouTube channel, not grow, start a YouTube channel. If you want me to teach you some tips that I've learned, I've picked up from other people and I've heard about growing a YouTube channel, then I can tell you about that, because girl... This video can be a whole two hours just telling you about how to start a YouTube channel and how to grow it, you know. So, I just tried to slim it down and, you know, just tell you guys five things. Of course, other channels can tell you maybe the same things or different things. But, yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about. So, let's get into these five things. So, the first thing... Wait a second. Get... Sorry about that. So, the first thing that I have on my little paper, because, you know, I got to... Keeping in my head. So the first thing I have is, of course, starting a YouTube channel. You're gonna need something to film with. Now, with that being said, you'll see, you'll hear this from anyone, like anyone. You do not need anything special, anything fancy to film your YouTube videos. You honestly can use your phone, your iPad, your tablet. I've known people who film YouTube videos with their like, not Chromebook. Lord, I'm still at school. With their laptop, like any laptop. Like all you need is something to film with. It doesn't have to be great quality. And they only say that because. You're not really definite if YouTube is going to be what you want to do in the long run. So don't buy this $1,000 camera and you're just like, oh, YouTube's not really for me. Because then it's just going to be a waste or whatever. I mean, of course you can have it for other uses. But I would just wait also because, you know, that's a lot of money for, you know, starting YouTuber. is not going to really start with much. You guys see what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's first tip, first fact, whatever you want to call it. Now, the second thing that I have is have a niche. So, like... This is going to be really hard, and most people on YouTube did not start YouTube knowing, you know, exactly what group they fit into and what group they're going to be in, whatever. So, a niche in YouTube terms is basically just, like I said, the group you fit into. So, you have the gamers who record videos, you have the beauty gurus, you have the pranksters, you have the vloggers. It's just whatever group that your channel is going to fit into and what videos you're going to record. So, like, for me, for instance, I know you guys don't have no any idea what I do for YouTube. I actually started this channel because I wanted to be a prank channel. I thought pranks, who did people who did pranks were like so cool. It seemed very fun and entertaining. And I, I'm a person who loves to laugh, so I'm like, prank, yeah. But I'm also an only child, and I'm kind of scared to prank my mother because those pranks can get a little risky, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so I don't really have anyone to prank, so then I had to like kind of veer off and do other things, you know, reaction videos, all this other stuff. And hopefully in the future, when I get around friends, college, whatever. I can do pranks, but for right now, I just make videos, honestly. I just make different videos about me, I guess helpful videos and just life hacks. I don't know, just videos, to be honest. But yeah, so you also want to have a niche that just help you. YouTube will recognize it. Um, your followers will recognize it. They'll come to your channel for the exact thing if, you know, they know what they're coming for, what they want. If I just confused myself. But hopefully you guys get the point. Moving on to the next tip. That was the second one. Moving on to the third one. The third one on my list is, I would say, I was just going to say it's not that important, but it actually is. And it's having a nice outro and having a nice intro or whatever. And I say this because, you know, it's the first thing that your viewers see when you, you know, come on your, when they come on your channel and they're watching your video. And it's the last thing your viewers see. So if I come to your channel and I see this like crappy intro you're just like you know getting ready fixing the camera and then you come on the camera and you start or you don't even have an intro at all introducing us us seeing you you know it just makes you look like less professional and it makes you less likely for people to watch your entire video or even start watching your video you see what I mean so also coming up with like something you say every video so people know that it's you or having like a nice intro and with music and stuff can entertain the people and keep them long and be like hmm I see that you know they're getting somewhere I see what they're trying to do here but that was just, you know, a, a tip of mine. I was like, I think that actually does help people having a nice intro. You know, like, for example, Ken and Diero, they have, have had the same intro for, like, forever. So when people hear that song, they most likely associate it with Ken and Diero. Now, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. But that was tip number three, or fact number three. Moving on to fact, tip, whatever you want to call it. Again, number four. Number four is something I... Um, struggle with I would personally say and that is being I'm sorry I guess I thought my rabbit was eating my shoes but tip number four fact number four is like I said something I struggle with with is being consistent consistency is like consistency 
whatever. Consistency is like key on YouTube. That's how you get noticed by your followers and by YouTube at the same time. But first, you want to have a consistency for your followers or your viewers, whatever you want to call them, subscribers, fan base, family, whatever. First, because, you know, they don't know when you post videos. If you want to post videos one month, Tuesday, second week, whatever, and then three months down the line, oh, here's a video for the whole week, and then you're gone for like six months, they don't know when to come to your channel if they don't have their post notifications on and watch your video. You see what I'm saying? Now, for the YouTube view of it, you want to be consistent because YouTube notices it and then they start to rank your video with other videos. They like suggested, like when you're watching someone else's video and like the suggested on the sides, your video can end up being suggested if you stay consistent and YouTube sees that you like actually trying to be serious, you're trying to do something and just being like a good YouTube little, I don't know how to describe it, but I know what I'm trying to say, but saying it to you guys, you know what I mean? It's kind of difficult. But consistency. Get a schedule. It will help you in the long run. It will help your um, viewers. It will help um, YouTube. It will just help everyone if you get a schedule, which for me, it's a little difficult. But hopefully it will get better because I want to stop making excuses and actually make it happen. But yeah, not making this about me. Let's move on to the last tip or fact. Tip. Tip number five. Tip guys. number five. I know you guys probably like that's not really a good one or it's not start, but for me, it's a big part of it as well. And like I always stated when I first started making videos, it's like tip number five is making sure you're doing YouTube videos, recording them for the right reason. Like some people get into YouTube because also, sorry, I keep jumping all over the place. Also be in it for the right reason because your followers are going to notice that you're fake and you're not a good, genuine person. And then... Lastly, I would think is being in it for the right reason is a good thing because if you're not, you're going to be heartbroken because unless you're already popular on another platform and you're moving to YouTube, it's not going to happen that quick get rich scheme like you're thinking. Like it's not going to happen like that. So all you're going to do is end up hurting yourself and then your consistency knocks down because you're like, why should I make videos? You know, no progress or anything. But like all these facts tie into each other. But back to the thing that I was saying was make sure you're in it for the right reason. Like, yeah, guys, like, it's self-explanatory. Just make sure you're doing YouTube for the right reason because the quick get-rich scheme does not work for everyone and it's not going to always work. So, yeah, just make sure you're going to be in, for, uh, like, in doing YouTube videos, oh my gosh, for the right reason. But, okay, yeah, guys, we have now reached the end of this video. Those were my five tips or facts, whatever you want to say about how can you start a YouTube channel. If you want to see me do a video on how to grill your YouTube channel, I can also as well do that because like there's a lot that goes into this stuff and just narrowing it down to five is really difficult. This video can be like a whole hour, but of course it's not going to be. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see that video, I can definitely do that. Side note, please do not look up my channel up and down and size it up because I know I do have a small following, small viewers. But I do also have an idea of what I'm talking about. Of course, I'm not an expert. I'm not licensed in this or whatever, whatever. But it is a lot easier said than done. I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Like, it's a lot easier, you know, said than done once again. So, but yeah, we have reached in this video. Thank you guys for tuning in to watch this video. Show my last video love. Like, you guys, like, you showed that video a lot of love, like, in what it was like two or three days. So, I'm very thankful and blessed for that. Hope you guys do this video the same. Um, if you are new, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching this video. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please comment down below other videos you want me to make or just your thoughts on this video. Or like maybe I said some things wrong or maybe you have some stuff that like some things to add. I'm accepting like to all of that. So yeah. Also, another side note, guys. Um, I'm thinking about you know like people have like names for their subscribers, their family. Like, y'all, I'm thinking about DT Gang. Like, to me, that just sounds so cool. Like, tell me if y'all on board, if y'all have another idea. It's DT Gang, of course, because my name is Desire, and then TV, and then Gang. Like, DT Gang. Like, what? What? But, yeah, guys, that's it. Let me stop rambling. Thank you for watching. Baller, shot caller, 20 inch blades on the Impala. Caller, getting laid tonight.